This is a demo of a two-tier application deployment using AWS OpsWork. OpsWorks is a PaaS platform that helps to automate multi-tier application deployments using Chef recipes. Let us understand the process flow for this demo. First, create a stack and add reference to the repo from where the Chef recipes will be used. The Chef recipes are used to install and configure applications within a stack. Then, create two layers, Cassandra and Application. Launch instances within these layers. First, we shall launch instances in the Cassandra layer and then in the Application layer as the Application layer depends on the Cassandra layer. Connect to the Cassandra ring using the Helenos client and check the connectivity. View the tables and so on. Once the application instances are launched, access the application using REST interface and add a key space and a table to the Cassandra database. Then add or delete entries to the Cassandra table. Let us now start with the demo. Let us create the Cassandra app demo stack. Lastly, OpsWorks supports Chef version 11.4. We have written some custom cookbooks based on the earlier version of Chef, so I'm going with Chef version 0.9. Now let us choose Custom Chef Cookbooks and select the S3 repository where the cookbooks are archived. The Custom Chef JSON is a kind of data bag that would be visible across the entire stack, across all the layers of instances. Attributes that need to be shared across the layers can be added here. Let us pass Cassandra ring details like the port number, key space, and the table names. We can also add the SSH keys and application get repo. We have now created the stack. Let us add the Cassandra data stacks layer. The layer name can be retrieved using OpsWorks agent CLI and can be used in the Chef cookbooks. The layer name can be used to configure the application layer that depends on the Cassandra layer. Let us edit the layer and add the recipe details. And while setting up the layer, we need to bring up the data stack services. The recipes to bring up the services need to be added to the setup configuration. We have an option to select a load balancer for the entire layer. As of now, we need to create a load balancer and add the instances manually the load balancer. Let us select Elastic IPs for the instances within this layer. As we start and stop the instances, these Elastic IPs remain with the instance. Now we can choose to use one of the existing security groups, otherwise, by default, new security groups gets added. The auto healing can be enabled for deploying highly available applications. Right now, let us disable this. Now we have now created a Cassandra layer. Let us create the web application layer and add recipes to it. The demo app recipe downloads the application from the Git repo and then deploys the WAR file onto a Tomcat instance. The mem recipe sets the memory requirements for the application. The layer dependency recipe gets the instance IP address of the Cassandra layer and then configures the application layer automatically. This is needed so the web application can interact with the Cassandra database. Now that the layers are created, let us bring up some instances in these layers. Note that the instances are named after the layer names, say Cassandra 1. The chef recipe in the application layer depends on this Cassandra instance name. We need to sequence the instances in the application layer so that the instances can configure themselves once the Cassandra layer is up. For the demo purpose, let us wait until the Cassandra 1 host comes up and then add instances to the application layer. And meanwhile, we have to ensure that the Cassandra port 9160 is opened up in the security groups. As the OpsWorks instance comes up, let us prepare a Helenos client so that we can check whether the Cassandra ring has come up. On the local desktop, bring up a Cassandra cluster and then open up the Helenos client. By default, it is connected to the local Cassandra cluster.
And once the Cassandra instance is online in OpsWorks, we can check whether we are able to connect to the ring by adding the OpsWorks Cassandra ring details to Helenos. Let us add this to the Helenos client and see if we're able to connect. Let us check the connectivity to the Cassandra instance. It works. Now, let us bring up the application layer. Let us add an instance to this. Once the instance moves to online status, let us access the application and then add entries to the database. Now, I'm using a REST client to set up the key space in the Cassandra data stacks through the application REST APIs. We can see a success status here. In the Helenos client, we can see that a key space by name Trove has been added along with a people check database. And we can now add some entries to the database. I use another REST call to update the database. Let us do a search on this database to see if the new entry has been added. We can delete an entry as well. We have now successfully added a two-tier application. Hope you find this demo useful. For more information on past deployment automation, talk to us at info at